The legend, Bradley Owen. Oh, How's the cat? Cat is good. He's at home. Girlfriend's taking care of him. So uh, yeah, everything's going good. Good deal. Thanks for playing with us. Yeah, of course. What's up, guys? It's me, Tony G, coming to you from the poker room at Live Hotel and Casino. This is the special mugs edition of the vlog. That's right, we're here for the Brad Owen, Andrew Nemi, Matt Vaughn, Trevor Savage, and Johnny Vibes meetup game. Three, five, no limit. Yeah, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Here we go. Also, before I begin the episode, if you're new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. It helps the channel out a lot. To all my returning subscribers, thank you. I appreciate you coming back and watching the videos. As always, all right, here we go. Very first hand, I had an ace eight and a cut off. I call the $10 minimum blind. The flop comes ace high. A couple rounds of betting gets in. We get heads up on the river. I wind up calling the $75 on the river. The guy bet and lost with ace eight versus ace nine. Okay, a couple hands later, I have the ace of clubs, the jack of spades. I'm in middle position. And yes, I do limp in for the $10 in middle position. I understand, probably should have raised, but I was still early in the session and getting a feel for the table, so I decided to go ahead and just limp in. We wind up going five ways to the flop, and the flop is the jack of hearts, the six of clubs, and the six of diamonds. Early position decides to go ahead and put out a bet of 20. I look at my cards with the jack high, decide to go ahead and call the 20. Everybody else folds and we are heads up to the turn. The turn is another six, the six of hearts. It checks to the river. The river is the three of spades. I decide to put out a bet of 45 after he checks and he says it's yours. Okay, a couple orbits later, I have the ace of spades, the two of spades. I am in the big blind. I decide to go ahead and check my option when it gets around to me. We are five ways to the flop at this point, and the flop comes out the nine of diamonds, the ace of diamonds, and the ten of hearts. It checks the middle position who decides to put out a bet of $15. We have a couple folds. I take a look at my cards and decide to go ahead and call the $15. We're now three ways to the turn, which is the six of spades. I throw a look at my cards again and put out a bet of $25. There is one fold and we are now heads up to the river. The river is a jack of spades. I decide to throw out a bet of 125, trying to represent ace jack or a pair of jacks to induce a call, thinking I'm pretty good with just my pair of aces. Doesn't work, the guy folds, and we take down that pot. First bomb pot of the night. 
I have the Jack of Spades, the Five of Spades, and I am in middle position. Everybody puts $15 in. Everybody sees the flop before any other betting is done. All the cards are passed out with the money in the center. Here we go. Got the Jack of Spades, Five of Spades, like I said. The flop comes out. The Eight of Spades, the Seven of Hearts, and the Five of Clubs. I only connect uh, with the five. I got bottom pair. The gentleman under the gun throws out a bet of 100 and not risking that much for bottom pair and I wind up letting my hand go. All right, a couple hands later, I wake up with the best hand in the poker world, that is pocket aces. The ace of clubs, the ace of hearts. I am under the gun plus one. It checks to me. I raise it to 20. There are a couple folds, and I get two callers, so we are three ways to the flop. The flop comes out the seven of hearts, the queen of spades, and the six of spades. It does check to the turn. The turn is the ace of spades giving me a set of aces. The big blind puts out a small bet of $25. I decide to just call, which I know I probably should have re-raised uh, over the 25, but I decide to just call. The other guy folds, and it's just the big blind and I heads up now to the river, which is the three of spades. The big blind puts out a bet of 100. My gut tells me do not call, but I decide to call with a set, and I get the bad news. He flips over the flush. King of spades. Okay, several orbits later, after I've had my aces cracked twice, once by the guy that I get in this hand with, I have the ace of diamonds, the queen of diamonds, I'm in the small blind. It limps, I raise to $20, two others call. We are three ways to the flop. As you can see, the flop came out, the four of diamonds, the five of hearts, and the seven of diamonds. I decide to bet $20 with the flush draw. Eventually, after some tanking by one or two other guys at the table, they both decide to call. One of them is a middle-aged Asian gentleman, very fun to play with. He's the guy that cracked my aces once on the river with a full house versus my straight. So we're up to the turn here. The turn is the ace of hearts, which is a good card for me. I decide to put out a bet of $50. Guy goes 50. Okay, I'll call. The Asian gentleman, he decides to call. And we are still three ways to the river. The river doesn't really do too much for me, except help me decide to go all in, which is what I do do. The river is the jack of spades and like I said I decide to go all in after I go all in the under the gun plus one decides to fold and the gentleman who told me to call him the Asian donkey and told me to get this on film and I'll let you listen from here Horn <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> 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 
Let me think about it. Put in the video in there. Put in the video. Put in the video. The dog is, the dog is looking at what I'm calling 180. Is it really a dog or no? You ain't get me this time on the river, <laughs> Mr. Dalton. I can tell you that. You weren't gonna get me this time. Okay, it's bomb pot time. I have seven of spades, the five of hearts, which is absolutely nothing. The flop is the nine of hearts, the eight of spades, the queen of spades. So I do have a flush draw going. I put out about a twenty dollars. There are two different callers. Everybody else decides to fold. So we're three ways to the turn. The turn is the jack of clubs with absolutely nothing still except for the flush draw I think for a minute and decide to put out a bet of $40 after looking at my cards the cutoff says are you willing to go all in for a small pair and I looked at him and I said I'm not sure and he says, all right, let me see your stack. So I show him my stack. He ultimately decides to go ahead and call. So we're now heads up on the river after one fold. The river is a king of hearts. I put out a bet of $35, which is obviously less than the 40 I just put out. I'm trying to make him think that I have a decent hand or at least a high pair and I want him to call but ultimately trying to use reverse psychology and don't want him to call because I'm bluffing like crazy because I have absolutely nothing with the seven of spades and the five of hearts in my hand. He looks at me and says $35. I think I know what you're trying to do and I'm not going to fall for it and he folds his hand. I can't believe I got the bluff through, but we did, and we win a pretty decent-sized bomb pot. be the final hand of my five hour session I have the ace of hearts the ten of clubs I'm in the cutoff position I decide to raise it up to 20 four other people call I'm sorry three other people call so we are three ways to the flop the flop comes out the king of hearts the ten of spades and the nine of diamonds I put out a bet of $20. The other three callers do call the $20. And the turn is the Jack of Hearts. I decide to check it. Middle position bets 180. And with only a pair of 10s, I'm not calling that. And that will do it for me for this session of cash. All right, well, we're heading out. Outcome wasn't what I wanted, but I think I played pretty well. It was up and down all night. And uh, getting 
getting out of here with a little more than half of what I came with. So it's, uh, it's better than nothing, but I had a good time, met a bunch of good guys. And uh, again, thanks to all the subscribers, especially the guys at the table. And uh, hopefully you'll see some good hands on this vlog here and uh, appreciate the support. See you guys next time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how I played, thoughts, criticism, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.